Hello, this is Riet from the Codex team and today I want to talk about due dates. So let's uh, say I have a card here, which is submit build to award show. I want to apply with our game for a award show and uh, I want to make sure that I send the build of the game by the deadline, which is May 6th. So how would I go about kind of tracking uh, scheduling, planning this card in a way that makes sure that I don't forget about it and also that I don't do it too early uh, to, so that I can make sure that uh, we deliver the best build that we can. So if you've seen other videos uh, of myself, uh, you might know that I like to uh, ha use my hand and that I like to kind of set it up in the morning with all the tasks that I want to tackle throughout the day so that during the day I spend less time wondering what to do next and kind of uh, wasting time making decisions and so on. So I really like to churn through all my tasks. So the hand would be a great place for having this card uh, on there to make sure that I don't forget about it. What's not ideal though is in this case the deadline is by the end of the week and I don't want to have this card occupy my hand, my personal to-do list, uh, like the top spot uh, throughout the whole week because it's not relevant the whole week. I want to be reminded uh, by the time uh, we get closer to the deadline. So another thing that I could do is assign a milestone to it. Uh, milestones, as you know, they are a way to bundle up um, multiple cards um, so that they are ready for a specific release date, for example. Uh, you can use miles, milestones to represent the yeah, big releases like a, a, a demo release or a game release or a big update. You can also use them to represent uh, sprints. So in our case, as you can see, by the way, you can finally <laughs> uh, drag and drop this uh, timeline uh, with your mouse. Um, you, as you can see on here, we have we like to set up uh, weekly milestones that represent tasks and then um, together we plan these tasks every week and talk about them. So these milestones will co contain a lot of uh, cards for the whole team probably over 100 um, and then I can I can put this I could put this card in here let, actually let's let's do that uh, by going into the properties and assigning it to the next week's milestone and this is something I would have done in the past a lot if I have a card that's for a specific deadline, I would just look for the sprint milestone, which is closest to its date and assign it to that one. That would make sure that inside of the planning meeting and the review meeting and so on, I would at least see it then and be reminded of, okay, this is important for this week. But now we have due dates, which are a even more precise way of scheduling cards because now I can on this card, I can just click this bell icon uh, which represents the um, due date and I can set freely any specific date that I want. So in this case is May 6th. So let's set the due date for that. And now, as you can see, this bell icon tells me it's three days left to go for this due date. Due dates can be used together with milestones. So there is no conflict. It's not you have to use either milestone or due dates. You can use both at the same time or just one of uh, them. Um, in this case, I want to show the. I want to talk about this task in our uh, weekly planning meeting. So let me just still maintain it inside of the milestone. Um, but I also want to add a due date because it's about a very specific date, and I want to really make sure that I don't forget about it. Because the nice thing about the once you assign a due date, Codex will remind you about the card on the due date. Leading up to the uh, due date. You can also at any point just click on the due, the due Cards tab here and it will show you all the due cards which are assigned to you. So I can see, see here uh, I want to submit the build on Friday and I can see later on I have to submit some tax information. Uh, so these, this due, cards, uh, due dates feature is really good for cards where you kind of don't have control over the deadline, where you have to work with fixed deadlines and you want to track the date of the deadline precisely. Uh, of course, you can always change the due date later on as well. Um, these are my due cards that are coming up. Uh, to see all the due cards of all your team, you can click the show all button here uh, 
and then I can see also due dates for the rest of the team. This is really useful, for example, if somebody gets sick or goes on vacation and forgets about their due date, uh, you can, as a producer, kind of check what's the overall team, what are the deadlines that are around, and can make sure that they get um, assigned to a different person if the original owner is unavailable. So due cards, due date cards are a great way of, of tracking deadlines. They work together with milestones. They work together with your hand. Um, so you can use them in whatever way works best for you. In my opinion, it works best with these fixed deadlines that you cannot move. Whereas when we plan stuff for the game, we use kind of the um, classic milestone system where we aim to have like a certain set of features done by the end of the month and by that milestone, for example. You can also set a due date for multiple cards at once uh, by just clicking, uh, let's select this card and this card. So you can, they're also available from the bulk action bar where you can enact a, uh, a change to multiple cards at once as usual. And that's it. So important to know about the due dates is that they are available on our pro plan. So make sure you are on the pro plan if you want to use due dates. Um, also make sure you check the organization settings and that within the feature area, you have the milestones and the due dates enabled as a feature. And that's it. We hope you like uh, our due date feature. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you want to see more feature extensions to it. And that's all. Until the next one.